So today I'm gonna tell you what's the YouTuber's biggest secret to success. I'm gonna give you a few examples of very popular YouTubers who are implementing this secret onto their channels very effectively. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm not doing that currently on my channel, but stay tuned until the end of this video because this is a two part video. And on the second part, I'm gonna tell you what's the YouTuber's secret weapon to success and why I'm actually considering doing that on my channel very soon. So here we go. What is going on? This is Ben and I recently became the father of this beautiful baby girl. Her name is Mackenzie Orwin and she's five months old. She is so beautiful, isn't she? Being a stay-at-home dad is a full-time job and obviously I've been struggling with growing my channel. However, I know the secret to grow your channel when you're a completely unknown person such as myself with a small channel and that, my friend, is to be consistent. Check out some of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. MKBHD, MrBeast, Markiplier. They didn't get there overnight. You ain't gonna be the world's greatest creator from video one. So let's take the pressure off you and treat YouTube as your first month in a full-time job. Just turn up, be consistent, and create to learn. When you start a full-time job, typically you spend the first month doing something called onboarding and training. That's at least 20 days of consistently showing up, learning, and improving. That is why it always comes back to consistency. If you're always showing up, for your audience, delivering content that they like, YouTube is gonna go out and find similar viewers to the audience already watching your videos. Unless you're a known celebrity before you start your channel, you will never succeed on YouTube unless you're consistent with uploading videos. If you need the schedule to keep you consistent, awesome. But I think when, if you, again, we start dwelling on like the time of the day, yeah. this, that, and the other, do just post videos. You're right. Like Omar just said, whatever it takes to keep you consistent, do it. Use a schedule, set up an alarm, whatever you need to do, because that is the number one best and biggest secret to success on YouTube. Being consistent. Mr. Beast. MKBHD. Blippi. Greg Cardone. She what is she? Why I'm with pity. Peter Lindgren. Potato <laughs> That's very funny. Elliot Dow. Ready, happy, yeah. Sean Kittle runs a YouTube channel. Johnny Spimple. Casey Neistat. These extraordinary YouTube legends have conquered YouTube and built their empires brick by brick, all thanks to one secret element consistency. But Building a successful YouTube career is like a serious relationship. You can't casually meet your audience once a month, for example. Do you want to be in a casual relationship with YouTube or do you want to be in a serious relationship with YouTube? Now casual is like, oh, I'll make a video whenever I feel like it. Maybe I'll film a video on a holiday here and there. Serious is I am committed to this. And that would be obviously the position that I would be in if I was starting YouTube completely from scratch. Today, I would actively decide, consciously commit to being in a serious relationship with YouTube. That means, just like if you're in a serious relationship with a person in real life, you wanna try and see them at least once a week. I would wanna be committing to making at least one video a week because that to me is taking it seriously. You know, a YouTube channel does not grow if you, if you treat it casually. You cannot accidentally luck into just having a big profitable YouTube channel and that kind of stuff. You have to actively take it seriously. Because to be honest, YouTube is a lifestyle choice. What you're trying to do, what you're signing up for, if you're gonna take this seriously, is making videos every week for the next like several years of your life. Building a successful YouTube channel is not just a job, but a lifestyle choice. And like succeeding with a diet, you have to commit to it for the rest of your life. You must be consistent. The moment you stop, the moment you start gaining weight again. I think it's pretty amazing that doing something like YouTube can take you from point A to point B just if you put in the work. When I'm saying putting in the work, I mean like starting and then keep being consistent with what you do. Once you start, the most important thing is consistency. And for those of you that have been following me for a long time, this is something that is very close to my heart when it comes to building a studio, when it comes to making YouTube videos, when it comes to quitting your job and actually taking a step and investing all your time 
into making things happen. You gotta start, you gotta be consistent, and you should never stop. Unless, of course, you want to quit or you realize that YouTube is definitely not for you. So, here's Peter McKinnon's secret to staying successful in YouTube for over a decade. Throughout your career, what has the biggest thing been for you when it comes to staying successful as well? Uh, consistency for sure, because that's being in front of people. You have it tattooed on your arm. I think I always use the example of a TV show or a Netflix show or something where they give you all the episodes at once, but sometimes they bring them out every week. Now, if they brought out one episode, one week, and then four weeks went by and another one came, and then a month went by and another one came, then maybe they gave you three up, like it's, there's no consistency to that delivery. So I stopped caring about the characters. I don't really invest in the story because I can't, you're, I, I can't read two pages of a book, put it down, pick it up in the summer, read like another two chapters, and then I'm just never gonna finish it, I don't care. And I feel like that applies to YouTube videos as well because we are creating stories for people. We are a brand, we're a product, we're entertainment. Whatever it is that you do, I think you need to do it on a regular basis so that you're in front of people and being in front of people gives you more opportunity. Your YouTube channel is your brand. You are the brand. And if you want your brand and therefore yourself to be successful, your only course of action is consistency. If you wanna build momentum, you need to be consistent. If you wanna be recognized and remembered, you need to be consistent. This famous quote, a river cuts through rock, not because of its power, but because of its persistence. Sean, you're saying the same thing, bro. Then why aren't you doing it yet? Why aren't you being consistent yet? I want you to post one free high value video per week, solving your audience's problems and helping them reach their ambitions. If you can't post a video every single day, you must at least post one video every single week. One video a week. Can you do it? What can you change? What can you accommodate in your life to produce one video a week? Here's a video about a YouTuber who posts at least one video every single day. Well, you guys know Grant Cardone, yeah? Who doesn't? And one day I told Grant, you gotta quit with all these posts, bro. Grant just kept posting and posting and posting, and he was on everything. Like a new app came out, there was fucking Grant. And I'm like, Jesus, dude, stop already. People are gonna get sick of you. You're gonna ruin your brand. You're gonna cost us all money. You need to stop, you need to stop, you need to stop. He wouldn't stop, as you know. Boom, boom, in your face, all day, every day. I called him one day, I said, Grant, I'm gonna have to unfollow you, dude. I'm serious, I'm, I'm gonna unfollow you. You know what he said? He said, Go Go ahead, you ain't buying anything anyway. <laughs> Grant built his whole entire personal brand from posting videos online every single day, in your face, all day, every day. But he uses a secret weapon, which I will be talking about on part two of this mini video series. Now, take a quick look at the kind of reach you get access to when you utilize the superpower of posting one video every day. Let's work backwards. Let's talk about one year of vlogging. Before I started vlogging, I had a YouTube channel for five years. And in those five years, I had a whole bunch of huge viral hits. Movies that got like 15, 16 million views. But my subscriber growth was anemic. The channel growth was anemic, flat like that. Five years, 500,000 subscribers. Then I started uploading daily. And in five months, I had 500,000 more subscribers. That's 1 million subscribers. Five years for the first 500,000, five months for the second 500,000. So I kept uploading, and two months later, I had another half a million subscribers. Now here I am, one year after doing daily uploads, and I've got two and a half million subscribers. YouTube isn't Hollywood, I'm not Stanley Kubrick. You can't succeed here if you're uploading once a month. If you wanna succeed here, you've gotta show up for work every single day. That, that took me five years to learn. If you keep going, you'll make it, because you can't fail if you don't quit. Enough said. More about the secret weapon of success for YouTube on my next video. Thank you for watching. Cheers to your success and see ya.